um, for the few people who might be watching or listening, uh, catch us up. How how did you step into uh, scholarship and writing, and um, mm. what are you up to these days? <laughs> well, and, I, I, <laughs> yeah, that's an I easy question. <laughs> I came into scholarship because when I was studying as an undergraduate, I was doing philosophy and ancient history, and both of which I loved. Um, and when I was finished with that, I actually had a little flicker of maybe I ought to be a philosopher and wouldn't that be fun? I'd stay on in Oxford and, and, and teach philosophy. And after a week or two of thinking that, I thought, no, actually, uh, my basic calling is to ministry. And that means I do want to study theology of the Bible. So I went to seminary and did that and combined the two because the philosophy and the ancient history are all still there. And the more I was studying the theology and the Bible, the more I realized that there were vistas of things that were opening up that I and some others were seeing that many people in the church, including people who are genuinely good hearted and wanting to believe the Bible, just weren't getting what was actually going on about the kingdom mm. of God, about who Jesus was, about some aspects of Paul's theology, etc. So I started in writing and I've always enjoyed writing. Uh, I, had I had a different life that I could have done in parallel, I would like to have been a, a musical composer. I've never yeah. been a musical composer, but music has always been important to me. And I see my writing as kind of the closest that I get to that, trying to woo people in to listen to the tune and see where it's going and how it develops and so on. Um, so then inevitably as a scholar, I've done a great deal of teaching in various universities and colleges and so on. And, and you quickly discover what it is that the students instinctively know about and what it is that they basically don't know about and need explaining. And particularly then both students and in the church discovering the things which people have got in their heads, which they think are mainstream Christianity, but which are in fact not what the Bible and the earliest church was all about. And so there's constantly an unlearning and a relearning process. And that intellectually, that's fun. Um, sometimes yeah. it's very frustrating, but it's been it's been exciting. 